The greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance. It is the illusion of knowledge, Stephen Hawking. The universe is a vast, apparently endless wonder of existence. Over the last century, we've learned that the universe extends beyond our Milky Way's billions of stars, spanning tens of billions of light years and holding about a trillion galaxies in total. That is, however, only the observable universe. There are compelling grounds to assume that the universe extends beyond our ability to observe it. The question is, how far does it extend forever? Or does it eventually collapse in on itself? The closer an object is to the observer in the universe, the easier it is to measure its distance. Simply shine a beam of light skyward and time how long it takes for the beam to bounce off the celestial object and return to Earth. The most distant objects in our galaxy, on the other hand, are more difficult to comprehend. After all, a powerful beam of light would be required to reach them. Even if we had the technological capability to send a beam that far, who has thousands of years to wait for it to bounce off the universe's farthest exoplanets and return to us? In 2013, the Planck Space Mission of the European Space Agency revealed the most accurate and complete map of the universe's oldest light. According to the map, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. Planck figured out how old the universe was by looking at the cosmic microwave background. The cosmic microwave background light is a distant and long ago traveler. When it arrives, it tells us about our universe's entire history. Scientists can stare at an area of space that is 13.8 billion light years away because of the relationship between distance and the speed of light. Astronomers on Earth can tilt their telescopes to stare 13.8 billion light years in every direction, similar to a ship on an empty ocean, putting Earth inside an observable sphere with a radius of 13.8 billion light years. The phrase observable is crucial. The sphere restricts what scientists can observe but not what actually exists. However, despite its apparent diameter of about 28 billion light years, the sphere is much larger. The universe is expanding, so while astronomers may be able to see a place 13.8 billion light years away from Earth, at the time of the Big Bang, the universe has continued to expand throughout time. If inflation continued at a constant rate throughout the lifetime of the universe, that same place would be 46 billion light years away now, making the diameter of the observable universe a sphere of about 93 billion light years, 28 billion parsecs. Some scientists have used that number to try to figure out what lies beyond the observable universe. Astronomers can look at the patterns we see in the observable universe and use models to estimate how far the rest of the universe extends based on the premise that the universe has a curved form. According to one study, the actual universe could be at least 250 times larger than the observable universe. However, there is no proof that the cosmos is finite. It might carry on indefinitely. Although scientists disagree on whether the cosmos is finite or infinite, they agree that it is quite fast. Unfortunately, we'll only be able to see the small portion that we see now for the rest of our lives. The furthest borders of our observable universe are rushing outward faster than the speed of light because the universe is expanding at an increasing rate. This means that our universe's edges are moving away from us faster than their light can reach us. It may appear that centering a sphere on Earth's position in space places humanity at the center of the universe. We, like that same ship in the ocean, have no way of knowing where we are in the vastness of the universe. We are not at the center of the ocean just because we can't see land. We are not in the center of the cosmos just because we can't see the edge of the universe. The vastness of the universe 
and the vastness of what we can't see is humbling. But that doesn't stop scientists from looking for answers, although they could fail to figure it out. It could be seen as aggravating, but it also adds to the excitement. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.